A melted microbrewery hosted the gathering, where the Minister of Labour focused on items the Liberal government hopes will make life more affordable and create good jobs. In turn, union leaders were able to bend his ear about their concerns, such as the labour shortage in many sectors, and speeding up the process to get those who are coming to Canada with foreign credentials into the workforce faster. Credentialism has been an obstacle for many workers in the past. And right now, at this point in time in our country, with a crisis of skilled labour, we don't have that luxury. So we really have to get down to the nuts and bolts of it, and we have to address those issues right away. We don't have quality of life when we have to hold two or three jobs. And uh, the quality of care, too, is no longer there. Everything is watered down. If, uh, if a worker is stressed, stretched, undervalued, I don't think they can actually, the morale is very low. And that is why there's so much people going in and out of the industry. Many of the examples expressed to the federal minister are a provincial responsibility and workers governed by provincial labour law. Still, O'Regan says he can help create change by setting a good example when it comes to attracting and retaining employees in the sectors fully under his control. And then work constructively with your provincial colleagues, which is the great majority of workers in this country. You know, an example would be uh, paid sick leave in federally regulated industries. We've got now 10 paid days of sick leave. That's huge, right? And we learned that from COVID, because if you're going to ask people to stay home for two weeks because of a virus, make sure you can look after them and they don't have to choose between getting paid and getting well. Milton's Member of Parliament is also suggesting there might be opportunities for shared programs. We can create, you know, bilateral agreements and programs with provinces and territories across this country to sort of meet the moment and ensure that, uh, you know, if there isn't uh, necessarily the impetus for a province or a territory to bring a new program forward, if we meet them halfway, they're far more likely to take action. However, when it comes to improving health care specifically, Vancouver is calling out provinces on the way some of them choose to use that federal funding. And I'm sorry, but when the federal government gives money to health care to provinces and territories and the provinces and territory turn around and send rebates on license plate stickers right before an election, that's not what that money was intended for. Even if this makes it more difficult to work in a partnership with any provincial government, he wants to see accountability. In the end, after the conversations wrapped up, union leaders are looking for action and believe they were heard in this venue. So all of this is really a bit of a crisis for our economy right now. And so we need to have all hands on deck. Everyone has to work together, whether it's city government, provincial government, federal government, working with their partners in labor to kind of address these issues. They were sympathetic. I see the sincerity and I'm sure that they're going to do something about it. Jason Trout for Halton News in Milton.